Hey everyone, welcome back to Kokanee Addict Fishing. We're out in the garage today. I'm doing an upgrade that I'm very excited about. We're swapping out my old starting batteries that are AGM for brand new dual purpose lithium starting batteries from WattCycle. In this video, I'll go over why I made the switch to lithium, how the install went, and we'll even hit the water to show you how it performs. Four seasons ago, I upgraded the, the batteries I was using for my trolling motor from AGM to lithium. In the past, I would only get about three seasons before it was time to upgrade AGM batteries for my trolling motor. I'm now on season four and my batteries are still as good as they were on day one. And I'm getting about twice the performance that I ever got out of my AGMs. That alone has sold me on lithium. Last season, I added LiveScope along with two new Garmin fish finders. With those upgrades, along with my existing Hummingbird fish finder and four electric count and downriggers, it really started to drain my starting batteries. I've been using two Group 31 AGM batteries that are about as big as I could fit in my boat. Even with that, they couldn't keep up. I had multiple trips where my voltage dropped too low and I had to start the big motor midday just to keep everything powered. I noticed image quality issues with my live scope, which I confirmed were due to low voltage by temporarily powering it with another lithium battery. Then earlier this season, I had one trip that my starting battery drained all the way that I had to jump it. That was it. I decided I'm done with AGM and my search for lithium started. I've got a Mercury Verado 350 with some pretty big starting requirements. So I needed a battery that could handle that. I actually just wrote a full article on my website explaining what to look for in a lithium battery for outboards like this. You can find the link in the description. During that search, I found Watt Cycle's dual purpose lithium battery not only met mercury starting requirements, but also came in at a more affordable price point than others I had looked at. Another big reason I made the switch was weight savings. Each of my old Group 31 AGM batteries weigh around 70 pounds. Watt Cycle's lithium battery weighs about 26 pounds. That's nearly a 90 pound reduction across the two batteries. It makes getting the batteries in and out of the boat a lot easier and also helps with the overall boat performance. These watt cycle lithium batteries are rated for 3,000 to 5,000 charge cycles, way more than the few hundred that I was getting out of my Duracell AGMs. Another major advantage with lithium is how it maintains a high voltage, around 13 volts, until the battery is nearly depleted. This completely resolved my life scope performance issues. One of my favorite features is the built-in Bluetooth monitoring. I can open the app and instantly see voltage, state of charge, temperature, and real-time data of how my batteries are performing. The install was simple. I started by charging the batteries to 100% using WattCycle's lithium battery charger, and wiring was plug and play. Once finished, I fired up the Bluetooth app to check everything. Voltage, state of charge, temperature, it was all right on. Okay, we're out on the water now with these new Watt Cycle uh, dual purpose batteries. Um, they start up the boat perfect first time. You wanna crank the key for me right here? Yeah, turn that on all the way. Fired right up, it's working good so far. Okay, you can kill it. We can open the app and you can see exactly how much power is getting pulled from each battery. We've got our live scope going there we've got two other screens going and we've got four electric downriggers and we got a fish okay we're just finishing up our day of kokanee fishing uh, today was a shorter trip it was awesome this morning we limited out in less than four hours um, checking these batteries right now so I can see I've got everything split between the two. I've got 75, down to 75% on one battery. And let me check the other one. And 84 on the other. So I've got one that's doing a little bit more of a load, but still have plenty of runtime left. I'm still above 13 volts on all my electronics. So everything worked flawlessly today. Um, boat started right back up, no problem. It's also charging effectively when my big motor's on. So, so far, super happy with these batteries. 
Uh, make sure to follow along, read the article on my website that I put out. I get, go over more details of why I switched and some of the advantages of lithium over AGM and lead acid. Um, happy fishing and tight lines.